Good morning, friends in St. Augustine. It's a great and beautiful day. God will bless and surprise us today. As one community, united in God's love, He is inviting us to set our hearts aflame. Let us make the sign of our salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Genesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonged to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish, they had made seize him and all those with him, and likewise, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection Each one of us must encounter our Lord in this same way. We must see Jesus. We must be deeply attentive to Him. We must recognize His presence, hear His voice, and see His action in our life. If this is done well and through faith, then our personal encounter with our Lord will shine light on the sin we need to repent of. This is not so that we remain in guilt and shame. Rather, it is so that we can also humble ourselves before Jesus and acknowledge we are not worthy of Him. When this humble admission is done well, we can be assured that Jesus will also say to us, Do not be afraid. His consoling words to us must then be responded to with the same choice made by Simon and the others. We must be ready and willing to leave everything behind so as to follow Him. Let us now pray the prayer for Augustinian vocations. All glory and praise are yours, God of truth, light of our hearts. For you guide your people in the ways of holiness. Bless your church with an abundance of holy and zealous priests, deacons, brothers, and sisters. Help those who follow the footsteps of Augustine to seek you through mutual love and worship and to be servants of your church as examples that others may follow. Enlighten our young people to seek the beauty of common life in the spirit of St. Augustine, and strengthen them in your service. Form us all in the likeness of your Son, so that in Him, with Him, and through Him, we may love you more deeply and serve you more faithfully, always and everywhere. Amen. Our Mother of Good Counsel, Saint Monica, Saint Augustine, Lord, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.